Hi all. In today's video, I will briefly go through Loli and Domiano's mate. This mate involves the use of the queen supported by a pawn or a bishop to deliver checkmate. Since it usually doesn't get too complicated, the positions might seem too simple this time in this video. But my intention is just to explain how to recognize the pattern. Like here in this case, queen g7 would be mate. It is also possible to use a bishop to support the queen, as you see here. White plays queen h6, threatening mate on g7, and black has no defense. The same idea can be implemented here. White can start with queen h6, and then with the idea of mate on g7. And in white's response to queen h6, if black plays rook g8, then white simply plays rook d8 to deflect the rook. Ultimately, queen g7 delivers the mate. Here again, it's white to play. The same theme. The black king is in the corner and white's queen is eyeing g7, just as in the previous case. But also notice that this time white has another interesting resource, the knight on e5. Keeping this in mind, white can start with rook b8. Now if queen captures rook, then white has knight captures f7, mate. And going back, if rook captures rook, then we know that queen g7 is mate. And if black decides to play any other move, suppose black plays rook d6, yeah, rook d6 after this, then again mate on g7 follows. In all the positions we've seen so far, the pawn supporting the queen was on f6, and now in the examples that follow, the pawn is on g6. So in this case, as you see, queen h7 is mate. The same idea with more pieces on the board. What would you play here as white? It's a forced mate in 4. Can you find it? Okay, I'll go through the solution now. White starts with queen d5. Check. Black's only response is rook e6, since the h file is taken by the rook. And now white plays rook h8, sacrificing his rook, forcing the king to capture on h8. And after this we have queen h1, check. And the king's only option now is to go to g8. This is followed by queen h7, which is mate. Here I should mention that there are also other ways to get to the resulting position. I'll just go through one more variation. Let's go back. Yeah. White can start with the rook h8. Sacri he can start with the rook sacrifice. And now to make way for his queen to reach h5, he can do the other rook sacrifice. And now queen h5, followed by queen h7, mate. Check out this position. This time, it's black to play. Although there's no forced mate, uh, black has a chance to win lots of material this time. So you can pause the video, take your time, and see if you can find black's next move. Hope you came up with knight g3. Check. This forks the king and queen, so the king has to move to g1 and let the queen be taken. You must be wondering what happens if white captures the knight. Let's, so let's go through that variation. If white just captures the knight, then a forced mate follows. Black recaptures on g3, unleashing the rook and checking the king. So it has to move to g1. And now, just as in the previous example, Black makes a series of rook sacrifices to get his queen to come to h1, and then mate follows.
we have queen h2 check and queen h1 is mate it's worth mentioning that white's queen blocks the only escape square for the king in this case if not white's king could have escaped via e2 and black would have nothing to show for his last pieces however in the position here white's queen sits on e2 so queen h1 and it's game over